So the single most important piece of legislation that is aligned to the work of the Environmental Commission is the Environmental Management Act of Trinidad and Tobago. And that can be found on, in Chapter 3505 of the Laws of Trinidad and Tobago. That piece of legislation is also available on our website. So, you know, if you need to refer to it, it's yeah. available there and it's available to everyone in the public. And it's important for a number of reasons, but the single most, reason, single most important reason is the fact that uh, it is a piece of legislation that created this organ body, this institution known as the Environmental Commission of Trinidad and Tobago. And the Environmental Commission is a superior court of record, having authority and powers to make its own decisions and then enforce its own order. So it is essentially a specialized environmental court, one of the, the few at the time when it was first established in the world. Um, even to today, Trinidad and Tobago still stands out for having a specialized environmental court. Uh, it's important, as I say, because it, it, it addresses certain um, specialized environmental issues and disputes arising under the Environmental Management Act. What are the aligned sustainable developmental goals? So the goal which aligns with the work of the Environmental Commission is the SDG Sustainable Development Goal 16 which speaks to peace, justice, and strong institutions. As I indicated earlier, the Environmental Commission is a specialized envi environmental court. It's a superior court of record. Which legislations are aligned both nationally and internationally? Right, so Trinidad, uh, we are signatories to a number of international conventions. So the Rotterdam Convention uh, comes to mind, the Stockholm Convention on Persistent Organic Pollutants, and the Basel Convention on the uh, transboundary shipment of hazardous uh, materials. Um, nationally, there are a number of policies that exist. The National Environmental Policy, which uh, gives a broad based uh, situation concerning the importance of the environment to uh, the country of Trinidad and Tobago. Um, we also have the Integrated Waste Management Policy, which sets the direction uh, for treating and handling waste in the best interest of public health and the environment. And we also have the National Recycling Policy, which uh, sets some targets for recycling and sets out actions to achieve those targets. So uh, Trinidad, we have a number of very good policies. When you look at those policies, they are uh, very detailed. They're very specific in terms of what targets need to be set. And uh, one of the challenges, though, is the legislation uh, that backs up these policies. So we are lacking in legislation. Uh, there's the um, Public Health Act that deals with some small aspect of uh, waste management. There's the Municipal Corporations Act, which deals with other aspects of waste management. And then there are some guidelines within various ministries dealing with uh, things like uh, metals and uh, medical waste and so forth. Okay. What are the aligned sustainable development goals for waste management? Right, so there are a number of uh, goals. Really, when you look uh, at, at the sustainable goals, each one of those goals can be related in some form or fashion to waste management. But uh, there are some I want to highlight. Uh, SDG 1, uh, re regarding poverty, no, having no poverty. Yeah. Uh, if you look at our landfills now, you'll realize that a lot of people uh, live off the landfills, and, and that really is a situation that we need to overcome. So in proper waste management, we have to alleviate uh, the salvaging problem. Uh, SDG 3 that deals with good health and well-being, um, waste management plays a very critical role in that. Without proper waste management, then we can't assure uh, good health and well-being of our population. So it's important uh, to have a proper waste management system ensuring uh, good health and well-being. We also have SDG 6, which deals with clean water and sanitation. And of course, uh, having clean water is dependent as well on having proper uh, waste management systems. If our landfills are not properly operated, uh, they can affect uh, the groundwater supplies and surface water supplies. SDG 11, uh, dealing with sustainable cities and communities, uh, of course requires a proper waste management approach to achieve that as well. Yes. And then uh, finally SDG 12, dealing with responsible consumption and production, uh, that has you know, very direct uh, bearing on waste management. When we look at waste management, we think only about the waste that is generated at the, uh, at the final point, but really we need to look at how can we prevent um, waste by ensuring uh, responsible consumption practices.
Hi, so Liza, can you introduce waste management first? Yes, Amicia. So waste management is important because we generate a lot of waste from the things that we consume. And once that reaches its end of life, it goes a lot of times to the landfill. And so therefore it's important to understand the waste hi hierarchy, to understand that the first thing that we should do is to reduce what we consume in order to generate less waste. And then to what waste that we do generate to be able to reuse it, to keep it from becoming waste in the landfill, to find different purposes for it, find new things to do with it. So therefore we're not generating waste, but we're creating a circular cycle of products. Which legislations are aligned nationally and internationally? With regards to waste? Yes. Okay. So there are several international conventions that deal with waste and chemicals. These include the Basel Convention, and that looks at the transboundary movement of waste in itself and also hazardous components of waste and making sure that environmental storm management is used for these um, products, these items. Um, there's also the Stockholm Convention on Persistent Organic Pollutants. That's a type of chemical that persists in the environment and is very toxic to humans and animals and the environment itself. Um, and there's also the Minamata Convention on Mercury, which Trinidad is not a part to this one, but it, it is a part to the other two. And this deals with mercury, and mercury can be found in things like fluorescent light bulbs, in dental amalgam, in some batteries. And the last one is the Rotterdam Convention, and this gives a prior informed consent of the trade of chemicals. And Trinidad is also a party of the Rotterdam Convention. Nationally, we do have some legislation. We just um, updated the National Environmental Policy, and that has a section on these. And which are the aligned SDGs? So for the SDGs, um, the main one dealing with the center is the goal number 12, and that's um, consumption, sustainable consumption and production. And that basically says everything that I just said with regards to the importance of waste management to make sure that its waste is managed in such a way that it doesn't affect human health and the environment in a negative way.